Hey, good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, indeed, it is a beautiful morning. Look at that beautiful sunny day today. Just getting some of the windshield washer fluid that I had uh, bought the other day at Penner's, and they're gonna fill her up with windshield washer fluid. Make sure that's all good. And I also bought some windshield wipers like that for the truck to uh, replace. So let's go ahead and fill this up. So that way we're good to go again when we get out, right? Yeah, look at that. And we're gonna check the oil and do all that good stuff. And then we're gonna go ahead and go up there and change them uh, windshield washer, <coughs> uh, windshield wipers up there. So that way we got that all taken care of. We got good windshield wipers for winter. As you guys know, winter is just around the corner. You need good windshield wipers for in the winter. So we want to make sure we got good ones on. I got the same ones as I got on there, but the ones that I got on there are kind of getting old. So we're going to get new ones put on there. Yeah, these are my new uh, windshield wipers that I bought. So we're going to climb up there and we're going to take the old ones off and then we'll try and put these new ones on there. Yeah, here we go. Now we're putting them on. They're pretty easy to take out. Yeah, look at that. That's the old one and that is the new one. Look at that, how much better they look, eh? Yeah, yeah, they're just like an easy, easy clip. They got like this little lever right in there and you just press that in and slide them right out and replace them yourself. A lot cheaper than getting to a shop and getting half an hour or something like that charged to change the windshield wiper, right? All right, guys, now we are done with putting our new windshield wipers on here and all of that. And I've been having some kind of vibration here for a while too, so I know they changed this uh, air conditioning line the other day. I don't think you can actually see it, but right there, there's supposed to be a bolt in there. Uh, put it, uh, you know, tighten that hose onto that wall there or whatever. And I think they, t uh, they broke that bolt and now that's not tight to the wall there anymore. So and I think what was happening, I think it was touching it was touching the wall there and it was vibrating whenever it was the perfect rpm or whatever so what i took is i took like an old rubber hose and i cut it into little pieces and i put it in behind there and that's why you see them zip ties around there so i tied that together like that over there so that way i shouldn't get no more vibration over there right and then i also sprayed some lubrication on this this is the uh mechanism for the uh, windshield wipers over there so you know i figured i put some lubrication on there so that way it uh lubricates the whole deal there a little bit and uh i also went and uh lubricated the hinges for uh for the doors as well i'll show you here a little bit what i meant by that and these hinges right here I uh, went and sprayed some lubrication on there as well. This is basically the whole mechanism for uh, my doors. And then I sprayed a little bit into the lock over here. And I would definitely recommend doing that in winter time. Uh, so that way if you get your truck washed or anything like that, it ain't gonna freeze in there as easily because it's oily, right? So the water is gonna wanna run off of there right away. And then I also went and uh, lubricated my seat sometimes uh, it will squeal a little bit no it hasn't done that in a good while but if you're uh, probably good time to put some lubrication on there again it's got some kind of rolling mechanism right in behind there and so i sprayed a little bit of oil on there so that's why i put the uh, paper towel there so that way it uh, <coughs> doesn't uh, get my floor and everything oily so but anyways I think I'm done with working on the truck for now. See, now we got brand new windshield wipers on there. And I'm just kind of cleaning the windshield a little bit. <coughs> Anyways, that's enough of that. I think we're done working on the truck now. So uh, we'll go back inside and probably get working more on my videos. Well, guys, it is done with today's video. I didn't really videotape too much throughout the day anymore, but uh, hey, you know what that's how it goes sometimes now as a matter of fact i'm actually recording this about six days after the fact <laughs> but anyways what we did there uh, 
Last week, Saturday, we didn't really do a whole lot after uh, in the morning working a little bit on the truck there, as you guys saw in the previous clips. All that we really did is, uh, well, we relaxed, watched a few movies, and then we went over to Boston Pizza and had a uh, fantastic dinner over there and just enjoyed some family time. So I think sometimes it's nice to do that too, so... I figured, you know what, let's finish off this uh, little video for today. I know it's probably a little bit of a shorter one, but uh, hey, that's the way it goes. Yes, indeed. So uh, with that being said, we'll see you on the next one. This has been Trucker Rudy signing out.